In this lesson, we will be covering the parts of DNA. You will see three questions at the bottom of the screen. Hopefully, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to answer all three of those questions. One of the most important things to remember about DNA is that it's a macromolecule. What that means is that there are many smaller molecules that have been stuck together to make that large molecule. Remember, micro means small, macro means large. I tell my students that it's helpful to think of DNA as a Lego castle. Now, in order to make a Lego castle, you have to have smaller pieces. You have to have individual Legos. So I like to tell my students that if DNA is like a Lego castle, the individual Legos would be called nucleotides. And you need lots and lots of nucleotides to make DNA, just like you would need a lot of Legos to make a castle. We'll come back to the idea of a nucleotide in just a minute. First I wanted to show you the three main parts of DNA. DNA has a phosphate backbone, that is the round yellow circle you see there on the screen. It has a deoxyribose sugar molecule, which is the purple pentagon, and you have a nitrogen base. Now the nitrogen base can actually be one of four different things. You can have adenine, thymine, guanine, or cytosine. Those are usually just abbreviated A, T, G, and C. So those three chemicals, or those three small molecules put together, make a nucleotide, that basic unit of DNA. When you start stacking up nucleotides, that is when you make a nucleic acid. And just a reminder on our Lego analogy, a nucleotide would be a single Lego and a nucleic acid, in this case DNA, would be like the Lego castle. In the last two and a half minutes you've actually learned a lot about DNA. For example, um, why DNA? Why do we call it DNA? How did DNA get its name? Well, the D in DNA comes from the name of the sugar in the molecule, and that was deoxyribose. And the NA comes from the name of the molecule, which is a nucleic acid. So that is why DNA literally means deoxyribonucleic acid. So that's it. Now just one last thing. Remember those three questions that were on the first slide? Well, here they are again. Just do a quick self-check to see if you were paying attention. Go back if you need to review. Um, your questions were, number one, what are the three main parts of DNA, or the three main chemicals? Two, what is a nucleotide? And three, how did the structure of DNA determine its name? Take just a moment and think over your answers. And in just a few more seconds, you will see the correct answers at the end of this show.